Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about what uh, is the difference between good news and bad news. I have good news and I have bad news for you, okay? Now, the problem is we think the Bible is all bad news, so guess what? We won't pick it up. We'll never, ever bother of investigating it um, unless the God himself comes and draws us. And that's usually, that's obviously what happens. The Bible actually says that, that God draws us. And the word of God is life, okay? So it goes forth without void and, and does God's purpose. And God's purpose is that everyone that he's chosen will believe. And everyone that the Father has given to Jesus will come to him. Now, the obstacles we have to, to reading the Bible are because the Bible is slandered already before we even open it up, okay? We're taught that it's just a book that man has written. Well, the Bible says it's, yes, it is man has written it, but they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. And you could see by um, the prophetic value of the Bible, and you could you know, that that it has to be divine rather than human in orientation. Look at Alexander the Great. Uh, he provides an objective benchmark in history with the, with the Greek Septuagint translating Hebrew into Greek and it having all the prophecies of a Messiah who was coming uh, and that turned out to be Jesus, you know, and we can see that it had a, Jesus had to be that Messiah because the the Old Testament prophecy said it'd be uh, from Egypt, from, um, from, from, from Galilee, uh, from Bethlehem. And so he, only Jesus was all three of those. He was out of Egypt. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I think if you go to oh, Hosea 11.1, 1, you can see that verse. And that's in the Old Testament. And, and he's from, in Mike, Micah 5.2, he's from Bethlehem. And in Isaiah, it says he's from um, Galilee. So there's evidence there that the Bible is legit, okay? So once you overcome that, then, you know, the problem is we won't op still won't open the Bible, right? <laughs> you know, we think it's bad news. We think there's no hope for it. I mean, it was basically, I think it's basically something that, is misrepresented to us it's slandered to us okay and so we believe the slander rather than investigate it but we want to believe the slander why do we want to believe the slander that's my point of this video is because we believe that the Bible has bad news for us so we want to reject it out of hand without investigating it so we don't even know what the gospel really is and the gospel message is blurred and obfuscated by Satan who's blinded the minds of the unbelievers and that's the way main way he does it and the whole world's under the sway but but God you know he, when per one person believes the angels faint basically in heaven because it's such a miracle uh, 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 from our God but the gospel message is so simple yet we think that it's bad news we think that you know since we're obviously sinners we, we see our sin that uh, we need a way to justify our sin, uh, and how, well, how do we justify our sin? We reject the Bible and we reject God, and then we can. Look, but the Bible says we're sinners, and God went to the cross and died for our sins. And even after the fact that we believe, we still sin, but we're covered by grace. That's what grace is. Okay, so it's no longer the law judging you. It's not a, no longer the the, the you know because God requires 100% protection 100% of the time and. You know, we think that, oh, we got to get to that point where we're 100% perfect, but we realize that we're not. So we, fought, we, we find, try to find ways of getting rid of the Bible, getting it out of our lives. And that's what the whole, <clears throat> one of the things going on in the world today is, is this huge move. All these, you know, uh, movements that are out there, they're all out to get rid of the Bible. That's the real uh, uh motive behind it all but the the bible is misunderstood it's misrepresented and, and we're comfortable in believing the lies because 
it if if we 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 um it's it's kind of twisted but we 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 love to reject the bible and reject god because then we can live you know we can find justification in our own minds as to who we are but but god you know knows that where sin is okay and he went to the cross and died for us okay so you can say that you're a sinner and still go to heaven that sounds crazy but but that's that's the gospel message is if you believe you are you can be justified before god based on your faith through god's grace so it's by grace you've been saved by faith it's a gift of god so that no man would boast so that's the message i try to trying to have <laughs> trying to communicate today is that you know don't fall for the 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 story that's out there about the bible not being relevant and, and being old-fashioned and and being um not important and and <clears throat> it and being um something where you have to obey 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 it's more like believe 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 that's the message if you believe in jesus you're saved your sins are covered that's the message that's the gospel message and it's a beautiful thing because that's what we need since we're fallen and we there's no other way we can get into heaven god has to make it as simple as possible and that's the beauty of it even a child can understand it so the gospel message you know is 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 simple yet even theologians screw it up and i think most theologians screw it up they get into all this Greek and everything else, but it's just believe and be saved. That's a supernatural event. If you can get yourself by hearing that word to believe, then you cross over from death to life at that moment. And you're saved. And um, otherwise, it's eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow you die, right? That's actually from the Bible, and that was my life philosophy. All right, so the message, you know, that I'm, I'm worried that people will never understand and never pick up the Bible because we've letting Satan and his minions, you know, the, the academics, the television, you know, all Christians are marked basically on, uh, on, on TV um, for many years. Um, and there's Christians who screw up. They really are. And then there's Christians people say that Christians aren't really Christians these mega pastors or are just in it for the money I doubt that they're saved you know or you know a guy like a Benny Hinn you know who's manipulating people I doubt that he's saved there's a lot so that but the the pure gospel message is that's what needs to be shared we need to um, <clears throat> believe and be saved all right and that's why it's called good news. The gospel is good news. And what do you do when you have, hear good news? You either believe it or you don't. And the, the gospel is about news. It's about a story. It's about something that's happened in time. That God went to the cross and paid the sins for us so that we can leave and live in grace. And all our sins, past, present, and future, are therefore covered. And you're born again, you know. You're spiritually born. That means you're born again. So you don't want to just have this flesh uh, uh, going going on. You want the spirit in your life, and the Holy Spirit seals you, redeems you, um, it guarantees you heaven. And five times in the Bible, you can look it up. Uh, you know, Ephesians one fourteen, Romans four sixteen, Hebrews seven twenty two, Second Corinthians one twenty two, and Second Corinthians five verse five. Just start with those scriptures and see what it says, and let the Word speak to you, and that word is going forth, not returning void, and it's accomplishing God's purpose. And it will open our eyes, take the scales off our eyes, like the Apostle Paul, so that we could see everything. You know, we're out we're without excuse anyway, but but we can see God for the first time when we believe. So that's the message today. Hope you receive it. Have a great day.